Now, mm-hmm. if you catch me at the October, we good. But during those months, I'm relaxing. I, I'm, with, I'm traveling right now. I'm in Little Rock, Arkansas, getting ready for my show at the uh, the Nut Lounge, uh, the Nut House Comedy Lounge tonight and tomorrow. Um, still working on my book that we've been working on for three years, but it's worth it. It'll be out next year. Um, Charlemagne the Guards the, and Kevin Hart is the publisher. They're going to be putting that out. Um, we all looking forward to that book. I'm looking forward to the new special um, when it comes out next year. I'm excited about that. Um, we got so much that we're doing. And to be at my age and still grinding, uh, still having a purpose, still being determined every day is is, is just a, a blessing to me. Because when you watch Vlad, you hear all these other shows and people can't believe um, all the accomplishments I've accomplished. I, I'm truly excited that um, I got comedian friends who have vouched for me and say, yo, TK Kirkland is telling the truth about all the rap artists and, and actors and everybody who I met coming up in the game. Because most of stuff I've done, most of you guys are kids um, growing up. And so to still be working, to still be achieving things is, is just an honor. Is, is um, Do you know if Charlemagne is leaving Breakfast Club? How you feel about that? Those rumors. You know what? I don't know. And I'm quite sure he'll tell me about it, but he has something big coming on with um Comedy Central mm-hmm. that I'm also a part of. So wherever he go, I go. That's my man for life. And believe it or not, that's he my man, uh, Angela E. She my girl, DJ Envy, all of them. They, they they treat me with the utmost respect. I love them all. And you know, and life is about growth. You know, you can't stay on the breakfast club forever. Right. So you know, you, you don't want to be 60 years old on the breakfast club. Right. You know, you want another 40 years, we call it, uh, uh, get ready for bed. Get ready for bed. So that's it, family. That's all we're doing. Word. I got one more question, man. Diddy. No, I'm messing with you. I ain't going to ask you about Diddy, man. <laughs> yeah, what about Diddy? <laughs> What's the rumors with you and Diddy, man, back in the day? Oh, you know, I I, I tell you a story, right? Right. Since that since that particular topic has been talked about so much over the last twenty something years, it's something that I don't want to bring up anymore because you know I have children now who are at age who watch these type of shows, and when I talk about crime or things I've done to people, I rather for them to hear it from me. So um, what I tell people from all the stuff I've done to anybody. God dropped the charges, so let's move on. Indeed, so, indeed. One yeah, last God, question. God dropped all the charges, so we straight. Indeed. One question, one last question. We know you got a show tonight, man. Definitely yes, appreciate sir. your time. How are you maneuvering out here now? How how is the comedy scene? We know that you're a brother that's always moving. So how is it looking out here in these landscapes when you look out among? I our- want to thank the Lord for the pandemic. <clears throat> I don't. I'm, I'm sad that people died. But for me personally, it got me a chance to slow down, yeah. to, and to enjoy my home, to deal with my children, to really rest and invest my energy into me and to truly love me. A lot of people don't love themselves. I truly love me. So I swim every other day. I work out. I eat good. I get my proper rest. Um, my voice stress at any cost. I'll cut you off at any cost if you mess with my spiritual journey or my peace of mind. So the pandemic was wonderful to me. And that's why I always try to tell people, turn the negative into a positive. It's a bad thing. Hopefully we'll get things back to normal. Hopefully things will get right. But if not, we also have to be prepared for whatever it is that out there waiting for us. We have to be ready. Definitely. Appreciate your time, yeah. TK. Drop the handles for the people that don't know where they can find you at, man, so they can they go ahead and follow the man. Okay, cool. One, make sure you check out the number one comedy special in the world, believe that, mm-hmm. on Amazon Prime called Who Raised You? Also, the number four on Amazon since 2008. Is, uh, are there any questions? Check that out tonight or as soon as you see this episode. Also, um... You can follow me on Instagram at TK underscore Kirkland. You can also be on my podcast. Just hit me in my DM. Tell me what you're going through. And bam, we get right back to you as soon as we can. And you can be on the TK 
Kirkland Podcast. New episode drops every Monday at 9 a.m. Um, 9 a.m. East Coast, 6 a.m. West Coast. And that's on SoundCloud, or you can just go to my network called tk.network, and boom, just hit the switch, and it'll take you right there. Book will be out next year called Who Raised You? Um, I'm truly excited about it. everything from Terry Crews to Wendy Williams to <laughs> my man up in Harlem, um, Eric Von Zip, um, to Puffy Combs, to Jay-Z, to Little Wayne, to Baby, to Nelly. It's it's a it's a book that um, um, Luke Sky, well, my man Luke from Miami, is a book that everybody will want to get their hands on. Awesome. Look forward to it, OG. We'll definitely appreciate your time. Yes, TK Kirkland in the bit on the podcast, man. Look forward to speaking with you again. My success in your endeavors, OG.